<laughs> All right, today we're out in Okeechobee. We're out at the rodeo. Um, we're going to be bucking bulls. We're going to be bucking steers. We're going to be fighting bulls. We're going to be doing all kinds of stuff here today. Oh, you don't wear socks when you bullfight? Yeah, I'm putting on my white socks. Oh, okay. So I look legit. So you look legit, okay. Are you getting my ass in this? No <laughs> way. <laughs> Hey, y'all ever seen a bullfighter's ass? <laughs> y'all ever seen a bullfighter's calves? <laughs> Jesus Christ, those are hard. <laughs> Tyler, what's your OnlyFans? Yeah, what's your OnlyFans, dude? It's, uh, it's Big T, T underscore Curly <laughs> Swamp Dick. Okay. <laughs> Sneaky Pete, what you got to say? Howdy, howdy. Howdy, howdy. You killed that? I had a sweet tea. I think I should put padded shorts on today, boys. Hey, look at this. You ain't a real cowboy. If you ain't got some Copenhagen mint on deck, okay? This is the first step of becoming a bull rider. Tyler, show us how you pack a lip. Um, <laughs> you just take it, you do this. Wait, you do what? You just, you just... Smack it, this, okay. Or you just bang against the toolbox, that's easier. Okay. And then you just pack a fat lipski full of dipski. Grab one like lipsy that. Lipski full of dipski. And... You swallow? You <laughs> Girlfriend all right, let, let me get let me get a little pinch of this. Let me get a little pinch of this, man. Oh boy, this is black gold right here. Now, like I said, this is the first step to becoming a bull rider. You gonna shake it off? <laughs> That's it. You're a bullfighter. This is the only thing you need to do. You just pack a dip, wear those, you're good to go. I oh like my god. I like to say thank you. <sighs> To, um, like Good to say stuff. Thank you to uh, all my sponsors. You got Vixel, you got Perf, you got Cinch. Oh, hell yeah. Beef jerky. We're going to add pelagic right there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, know. seriously, when it comes to bullfighting, tell us some tips on what we need to do. So, basically, there's two different types of bullfighting there's freestyle, which is all about competition and earning points, and then there's cowboy protection. I do a little bit of both. Both, okay. Um, but mostly cowboy protection just because, you know, everybody's got to keep the bull rider safe. So when a bull rider comes off, you're the guy to distract the bull. You take some hittings, you get hooked, you break bones, it's okay. Let's hope no bones get broke tonight, but, you know, if it happens, it happens. Yeah, this is no joke. They say bull riding is what, the most dangerous eight seconds in sports? Yep. It's right? the most toughest sport on dirt. It's the toughest sport. It's the most badass sport. These guys get injured. Some guys even get killed riding bulls. A lot of the, a lot of the trauma you see in these bull fighters and these uh, bull riders, it's the same kind of trauma you'll see in car accidents, lacerated livers, um, broken spines, just crazy, crazy stuff. Pete, right? Punctured lungs. Yes. Punctured lungs. Are those cleats? So you got cleats on the end of those? Oh yeah. Yes sir. Yes sir. You ready? What you got there? Your vest? Son. Yeah, that's my vest. Monster Energy. This is gonna stop a bull. Um, yeah, sometimes. I mean, might stop a bullet if we're lucky enough. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, look at this. This is a good place for snakes to hide. Nothing. All right, like I said, today... All right, like I said, today... All right. Like I said, today, <laughs> we're gonna be riding bulls. Now, we're at this event, it's called Church and Bulls. Now, for the first about 30 minutes, they actually pray, and then everybody goes to the rodeo, and uh, they basically buck bulls. But the whole idea, the whole concept of this, is to bring people out to ride bulls, and also bring them out to church. Hey, wait up, cowboy. Y'all brought a herd today. This is where you get the best footage, dude. Right in here. Right now, we're in the shoot. This is where it goes down. All right, these little kids are good. The man, the myth, the legend, Tyler Curley in action. Don't necessarily you need to come out here and learn. Practice? Yeah, come on. All right, I'm getting in there. I'm gonna go fight some bulls. Let's get it. Pete's on the camera. Show yourself, Pete. Show yourself, Pete. Hold my stuff, hold my stuff, man. I got you, I got you. Thank you, sir. All right, so right now, if you look over there, you'll see the steers, the smaller cows. We got all these little kids out here. This is what they start practicing riding on, is these little bulls. Then they'll move their way up as they get bigger. Church of bulls, yes. All right, so right now, basically, the goal of the bullfighter is to protect the bull rider. Now, these kids, if they get hung up on the rope, if their leg gets stuck, if their hand gets stuck, our job is basically to jump in there, grab the rope, and free them from that hole. Look at this kid, he's doing awesome. awesome. 
That's eight seconds right there. Sissy stuff's in. Y'all better left out at home. You see how you see how much bigger these are? Holy shit! It's crazy.
It was a success. What do you think? What do you say, Tyler? It was something, buddy. It was something. <laughs> Very good. How are you? Tired. So tell, tell us a little bit about why you bring people out here. Uh, tell us about Church and Bulls and the things that goes on here. So basically, we just uh, we just try to make this a ministry, which it is. And one thing that attracts a lot of these kids is the Bulls. Um, a lot of them come for church, too, but a lot of it is the, uh, the bull riding. But, you know, a lot of these young men are just trying to find their identity and make their mark on the world and figure out, you know, what masculinity is and no better way for these guys that are trying to prove their masculinity in bull riding to try to figure out who they are as men and work on their identity and and then lead them to try to you know bring their identity in christ you know they got warrior spirits they're fierce they got a lot of adrenaline what men have and what i think the world's taken away from men nowadays and uh, we're just trying to get it channeled in the right direction so they can be you know good strong citizens of you know the society awesome well, thank you, man. We had a great time out here. That's awesome, man. Awesome. I thank you again. I appreciate it very much. Who's that walking in the dark? <laughs> yeah. All right, so we had a we had a great time today, right? Yeah. Crazy. Bull riding is crazy. If you guys yeah, can't already tell, it's it, it's crazy. Uh, but yeah, I didn't get to ride a bull today. Got to fight a few. Uh, learned the ropes pretty good. All right, now that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it go ahead leave this video a like subscribe share this video we had a great time at church and bulls uh, i want to give a huge shout out to mr steven for hooking it up i'm going to put all his info and um, all his organization uh, link info in the description below so check it out see you next time